Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey. Ready for a tour? Hell yeah. Hey, welcome to the cockpit, Sailing Vessel Panda. This here boat is a 1980ml Sharky. It's a 39 foot catch rig sailing vessel prepared to sail around the world. Here we are at the helm of Sailing Vessel Panda. This here helm is kind of unique in the sailing world, offset helm, but from the seat we have a great view of our boat, the sails, and the ocean around us. I know she's a sailing vessel, but occasionally we do have to motor. So we have a 4108 Perkins engine built in England. All the controls for that bad boy right here. We have our control stick. I don't know actually what it's called, but we have this thingy. If I push this thingy forward, boat goes forward. If I pull it back, boat goes back. Even I can figure that out. Wind instrument, very important. Speed, direction. Autopilot, also very important. Her name's Eva. Eva, Eva helps us stay on course. Lastly, we have this multifunction display. We can look at all kinds of things. Speed over ground, speed through the water. We can look at depth. We can look at water temperature, all sorts of sweet things. Hey, I was just trying to figure out what the fuck I should make for dinner. We have our galley, she's right here. When it gets a little rolly, we can move this stool right here and we can still cut up some vegetables. And what's in our fridge? Got our fridge right here. She's a little small, but she does the trick. Got all our cleaning supplies we ever need. And a really large deep hole for any pantry needs. Induction stove top. We have a microwave and a convection oven. Got some banana bread. We also have all our magnetic spices right there. Easy access for when you're cooking. I also got my Trash. Cups. Tea. Coffee. More spices. And condiments. Don't forget the sriracha. We also have our lovely fruit basket. And we store all of our bowls, pots, pans in here. And you already saw our book selection. We also have plenty of storage. Right behind our sati. And below. Woo. So we love our table in our saloon. It might be a small space, but it still works for us and it can seat a lot of people for dinner. And that's not all. So with this setup, we figure we can have about seven or eight people all around our set tea. Yeah, it's quite nice. Time for a party. But wait, there's more. We can sleep a buttload more people in here. Or one really big person. <laughs> and if we want to sleep even more people, we have a V-Birth. This can fit two comfortably separated or two together. If you want the two uncomfortably, you just insert this little wood piece right over here. Oh, I don't remember how it goes. I should probably figure out how it goes first. Come in. Oh, hey. This is a head on our boat. I don't know why they call it a head, boat things, but this is where you do your business. We have our toilet. We have our flushing things for our toilet, nice and electric, one butt push. We have our sink here that has our running water and soap. And last, we have all the things to keep us clean and pretty.
This is our seabird. It looks like a little couch, but it converts. And it's a nice comfy crib. Rocky right, sleep under passage. Yeah. Navigation. This is where you're supposed to do all your navigating. Maybe back in 1980s when you used celestial navigation, you had paper charts. But now, we're pretty modern. We do everything electronically. So we have our iPad here, handles all of our navigation. We have our multifunction display here. Again, handles our navigation. And really, this becomes our computer desk. This is where we do all of our editing. And over on this side, we have our most used items. Headlamps, totally a must on a boat. Always grabbing these. Screwdriver, always fixing something. Scissors, pen, another pen. Knife, never know we need those. Fast grab. Last, our inspiration. Where the hell we're going? We're going this way, across the world. Part of our communications devices on this boat, we have an Iridium Go. This bad boy talks to satellites. We can get our weather data, we can have an email, an SMS, and it also has a SOS feature for distress. And then our shortwave radio called VHF, that bad boy's right here. We can talk to other boats, mostly other boats on that, like... Hey, I'm in the anchorage. Get the hell out of my way. I don't know what I'm doing. Or hey buddy, your anchor's dragging. You better look at what you're doing. Hey, you wanna go to dinner tonight? Sweet, let's go to dinner. Hey, you wanna go bonfire night? Let's go do a bonfire on the beach. My god, ship, you're huge. You better get out of my motherfucking way, because I'm a sailboat and I have the right away. You can do that too. Hey, dude, container ship, can you see me? Uh, we're sailing. Do you mind scooching out of the way for a little bit? Boom! Then they move out of the way. It's beautiful. <laughs> Let's go check out the garage. Welcome to my garage. I like to call this my garage because Amanda really doesn't like this part of the boat. <laughs> She closes her eyes every time she comes through this tunnel because it's just full of garage shit. But this garage shit is what keeps our boat together. Turns out boats need tools, like power tools. Like check out this power tool. You never know you need a sawzall. Sometimes you need a sawzall. Lots of bolts, nuts, screws, shackles for sailing stuff. I don't know whatever shackles are used for. I have a whole bag just for electrical things. You would not believe the amount of electrical on a boat. And one of my little favorite tools is this probe can be put up in anything and then viewed on the screen. So if you like lost a bolt or figure out where that pineapple is stuck up someone's butt, you can find it. And this is where the magic happens. We converted this into a full size and plenty of storage in all these cabinets for our clothes. This is where we throw all our dirty clothes. We can also convert this into a nice table. And when we freak out in the middle of the night, what is that sound? Oh, it's just our dinghy. And these are all our shoes. My favorite Uggs for the winter. And our adventure shoes. My Chacos, Tevas. Darren's humongous shoes with toe protectors, of course. And it's in the perfect place to leave the boat. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our home. She's a rad boat. Amel did a hell of a job at all these features. Now, stay tuned. Follow us along on Instagram, Facebook, all the social medias. That's where we're gonna be sailing this boat all around the world. Now get out of here. Bye-bye. And then I'll put it in. Hear the water rushing across the back. <laughs> we have an anal probe. I'll switch hands because this thing is heavy. I hope you enjoyed the tour of the boat. We love our boat so much. A sturdy, beautiful boat. It's a lot of boats. <laughs> <laughs>